Hey, what's going on guys? For this question, I'm going to be solving the infamous two-sum problem. It's uh, quite an easy one, but it's a bit tricky if you're just starting out with hash maps and uh, just dictionaries. Uh, so for this question, it's uh, given an array of integers and you have a target, uh, you want to just return two indices that add up to that given target. So for this example, we're given the array 2, 7, 11, 15, and we have a target of nine. And just quickly scanning it, we can see that two and seven would sum up to this target. And that's where the uh, question name comes from, the two sum. So how can we do this? We could uh, pretty much just have a dictionary holding each element of the array as its key and have its value to be the index of where it is in the array. So what that would look like is we just go through each a number in the array and uh, add it to the dictionary. So it's going to be for i, so it's going to be nums. And what this dictionary will look like, you can actually print it out. It's going to have 2, 0, uh, 7, 1, and so on. So the 2 is at index 0, 7 is at index 1, 11 is at index 2. And now what we can just simply do is uh, iterate the dictionary, the array again. And we could simply look for a number that satisfies this equation. So we're looking for x plus y in the nums array, the equal target. We can simply do target minus y and look to see if we have x. So target minus y in this sense is going to be target minus each element in this for loop. So if I do target minus nums i is equal to x, and now we can just check if x is in the dictionary. Then we can return uh, both of these indices. Otherwise, we can return uh, none or just an empty array. And if we try this out, it's going to work for most cases, except the case where there's a repetition in the array. Such as this, uh, 3 and 3 sum up to 6. And in this case, we can just do another check here. If x is in the dictionary and the index that x is at is not equal to the current index that we're on, I think that should solve it for the other cases and give us the solution to to some. Hope that made sense. I know this was a quick video because I think this is a pretty easy question. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.